Hi folks, it's Miss Johnson. I'm showing you how to sort and filter today. I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of why we do things one way, just how to actually do it. So let's take the spreadsheet. I want to sort by title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the title. I could also select everything if I wanted to. And I'm going to go to this option that says sort and filter up here. You can also go to data. There's options for sorting and filtering there, but it's on the home screen, so might as well use it. And Excel smart enough to know that this isn't numbers, this is um, alphabetical, so I'm going to click sort A through Z. Automatically, you can see how everything changed. Now my whole list is sorted A through Z. Let's say I wanted it Z through A, click sort right there too. If I wanted to sort by something else, I could always click on that specific column and sort it, or I can go to this option that says custom sort. That allows you to click what you want to sort by, so if I wanted to sort by month, go Z through A, make sure you have this little box checked, because then it'll know, Excel will know what you want to sort by, and I get all the things that go by April. If you're worried about messing up your sorts, which can happen very easily, let me tell you, you can always use the option of filtering. So see, it says sort and filter. Filter is something different. But what you want to do is you want to click on filter. It seems like nothing happened, but you may notice there's these little drop down arrows now. When you have a filter on, whatever you do with the filter goes away once the filter goes away. So if I sorted um, old to new, and I took away the filter, it stays on it. But it keeps all the data together. So that's sorting and filtering. You can, fil you can sort through filters. The actual power of filters is to narrow your data. So if I only wanted to see games from 2017, I would click off of select all. I'm in the date little uh, filter. Click off select all, click on to 2017, and you can see I only see the data from 2017. It just takes out all the other stuff, which can be super useful when you're looking at data. So that's real quick how to mess with sorting and filtering. Again, I highly recommend if you're going to do any sorting, put a filter on it first. Just makes your life easier.